On a beautiful day, this public golf course shines as one of the crown jewels of Pierce County. Yeah. Chambers Bay is a slice of heaven. It really is. But what appears to be bloodstains on this trail tells part of the story of what allegedly happened here this week. Like, I don't know. All I know is the two men jumped at me. I ran away. And by the time I came back, he had been assaulted. Jessica doesn't want her face on camera because at this point she fears for her safety. Police have not arrested the men, two strangers who she says attacked her husband while they were out running at Chambers Bay. As we jogged up to and were next to them, one of the men turned around suddenly and jumped at us, particularly me, I was on the side of him, and yelled, boo, gotcha. Her husband, Clancy, said he addressed the men. You know, I, I told them that this isn't the place for games like that, and they, they came at me, and I got in there, you know, there were two of them, and I got hit. These are pictures taken just after the alleged assault. We're showing these to show the extent of his injuries. All the bones in the nose were broken. The septum was broken off of um, the palate. There's quite a bit of swelling. And here are pictures of his arm and his head. We're going to be dealing with this for the rest of our lives, and these men are out there still. Police say they're searching for two men who were visitors to the area and were golfing here at Chambers Bay with a group of people. This is not what happens at Chambers Bay. This is not what happens in our community. For Jessica and her husband, they hope the incident puts the community on notice. I want this to be stopped. I, don't, I want people of our community to be aware that this can happen, this happened. And I don't want this to ever happen to anybody. In University Place, Jenna Hanchard, King 5 News.